Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. We are finally home free. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start. Level 6 1 Homecoming High Jinx. This is where the freeze and tropical freeze comes from. Look at everybody having fun at our expense, bunch of joiks. There's our, our hut. We're back in action to reclaim our home to so this level, as you can already probably guess, has ice physics in it, which is oh so much fun. It's probably, I would say for most people, it's basically like the their favorite mechanic. What it also has is a revisit of the Title score, theme, whatever you want to call it, which is nice. I'm a big fan of that. But first, we got ourselves a bonus level. How would you feel if bonus levels and ice physics collided? Do you think you'd like that, viewers? Well, we just might get a chance today. If the game is oh so kind. Speaking of things that are kind... I would say people who like videos, who comment on videos, and subscribe to amazing channels like DMike Plays are kind people. If you haven't done any of those things already, please do so. It's for your health. I've heard good things. So another thing that also happens in this level is there are these platforms that are slowly disintegrating slash falling down. You're also going to find Grassy areas. I don't know why I stopped talking. You're also going to find grassy areas that are slowly disintegrating and falling down as well. So, the mantra of today, I guess, is uh, always be really quick. For example, grabbing that puzzle piece. So, ABRQ. Oh. Okay. ABRQ, always be really quick, and also don't fall into pits. Because that's not fun. And now we are, uh, we're Dixieless, which is unfortunate. We have lost our dicks, and that is not as fun. But we have the puzzle piece, so we will continue to move along. Okay. I don't think there's anything here, but we will find... Oh, a heart. Very nice. Something that these villains don't have. But these first two levels, in the final world of Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, are relatively friendly. Maybe not, you know, the easiest in the game, but they are easier than some of the others. Oops! Now that doesn't mean that I'm not going to mess them up a lot. That does not mean that. However, it hopefully will not take me too many first tries, which would be really convenient. I recently watched a... I'm kind of brute force this a little bit. I recently watched a speedrun of this, and it was incredible. And I thought to myself, man, if I had that kind of free time, I definitely wouldn't be using it to speedrun Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Because I'd be a lot better at this game if I did. Okay. So maybe we take a little more care. I like that the game has essentially heard me saying that it's easier. And it is punishing me in response. Now, I'm not superstitious, or I'm not super superstitious, but I do believe in karma a little bit, and that words matter. So this is kind of what I get for running my big fat mouth. Okay, so far so good. Okay, I feel like we should probably jump off that. This looks a little suspicious over here, with this fat stomping rabbit. Hmm, 
That's a puzzle piece if I ever saw one. Okay. Moving on. I don't know if we have the the toy for that guy. We'll have to see another time though, because we will not be unlocking Funky's shop this time around. Okay, there's the end. I feel like we should probably move wickety quick. Whoa! Yeah, I don't know if I necessarily care for this mechanic, but that's a puzzle piece. All right, let's get up there. No! <laughs> that was a really far fall. <laughs> the game wants you to wants you to know your place. All right. All right. So we can just skip this part. Oop. Oh, I thought I was gonna get hit by the, the aftermath. All right, here we go. So now that we know what to do, it's more banana coins. We're running low on those. You gotta be real quick. That seems like that's kind of the, the game plan. ABRQ, baby. Always be really quick. And I think we're gonna need a roll jump to grab this one. Okay. It's not the fall that kills you, everybody. Oops. I thought you could just jump down there. You cannot. And we have subsequently lost the music. There it goes. It's a little bit of a uh, slow intro. Oh, you can get hit by that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I think the ice, phys ice physics actually saved me right there. That was interesting. Yeah, you get more of a title theme, I guess. It's not really something I'm not tired of. There we go. I didn't, I didn't see that last time. There's a little platform right there. All right. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady melts the ice. Okay. No! <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. Oops. Well, we almost did it one try. Isn't it great when you mess something up right before the end? Don't you just love that? Ah, oh boy. No, that was not the end. And now I have to redo it all for one measly puzzle piece that I knew exactly where it was. I knew exactly how to get it. Oh, boy. Well, we're back at it. Maybe this time we can uh, finish the level with a companion. We can be more carefuler. Bring Dixie with us. But yes, that's <laughs> very unfortunate. I'll show you exactly what to do this time around. Okay. Yeah, this mechanic of the grass at pages kind of swinging around. It takes a little bit of time to get used to. It's a little awkward. It doesn't feel very natural. Something that I think is funny, speaking of the word natural, is that I guess according to like the federal, or the FDA, we'll just say FDA because I'm gonna keep it simple for all of you. It's the Food and Drug Administration in the United States, something that I couldn't remember what it was called eons ago, but yes, the FDA, for short. They're the organization governmentally in the United States that's responsible for basically saying, yeah, this stuff is good to eat, yeah, this, this medication is fine or not. They kind of make the rules. Not the people play by them, obviously, with what I'm about to say, is that you can get away with kind of saying that things are good and safe to use in your body, one of those buzzwords that is very popular to use is uh, the word natural, which actually, when it comes to food, doesn't really mean anything. You know what else is natural? Cyanide. But nobody's saying that. So, you gotta be careful when you, when you put stuff into your, oh boy. When you put stuff into your, oh boy. When you put stuff into your body. Be mindful. Alright, here we go. 
so what you're really gonna want to do is collect all these bananas. Hop into this bing bong barrel. Oh, I was so close to that. That wasn't too bad. And that was the first try, so we'll take it. Not too bad, not too bad, right? Successful trip. I'm not upset about that. Are you upset about that, viewers? All right, 6-2, the seashore war. I do love a good remedy rhyme. And we've got Dixie by our side. Feeling pretty good. This one has another weird mechanic. So the last one had the frozen grass patches that were slip sliding away. This level discourages us from swimming. You're not swimming here. You'd be a crazy beach if you did that one. So, wait a second. I don't know what I, <laughs> I don't know what I thought was happening right there. I got very confused just now. Yeah, we're doing great. I was like, did I collect something or not? I had a little bit of a, a little bit of a brain fart. So this level has a huge emphasis on shipwrecks, which I think is kind of cool in the process, but not in the function. So you're gonna be doing a lot of plug pulling to lift these ships out of the water, which totally makes sense, right? Physics be darned. But it does have a, a unique track. And these cool kind of frozen flounders flopping around. Grab that blast barrel and shoot yourself into that little igloo for the first of potentially many ice physics bonus games. Oh yeah, viewers, I warned you. I told you this would be in here. You didn't trust me. If you didn't trust me, well, you can get out. So here we go. Thankfully, the ice physics, while a little obnoxious and kind of obtrusive, aren't really that much of a hindrance. I should probably wait to finish this before I say that. Ooh. That was close. If we do this level really well today, we might be able to get out of here early, send you guys home for the weekend. I mean, these go up on the weekend, so I don't really think that made any sense, but you know what I'm saying. All right, holy ship, we have another, uh, another sunken vessel. Once again, I don't quite understand the physics behind this, but maybe I'm not supposed to. This is when you say, um, D Mike, this is a game where you are playing as a gorilla in a fantasy world. A frozen fantasy world. Stop being so critical. Okay, that hurts. I guess that's the warning from the game that it's the cold out there. How do we feel about cold viewers? Do we like the cold? Do we prefer the summertime? Depending upon where you're from, obviously. Northern or Southern Hemisphere, it is currently summer in the Northern Hemisphere where I, where I reside. All right, so why did I do this? I don't, this looks kind of suspicious. I don't, I don't, uh, Maybe it's just to give you a passageway. Also, I really love these mohawk penguins that are using their horns to... Can you... Okay, good. My brain went frozen for a second. Hmm. Oh, goodness. There we go. Yeah, the puzzle pieces in this one aren't super hard to find, which is convenient. That was a pro move, gathering the letter N. A little bit of a, a little bit of a, a reprieve. The game doesn't want to break the ice on a new world and stress you out too much, which is convenient. Some watermelon bombs here for this juggling walrus. If I had a, uh, if I had a restaurant, I'd probably call it the juggling walrus. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Is that gonna be no? Whew! That was close. Yeah, I would name it. I think naming restaurants with like animal names is fun. It's enjoyable. Collecting life, also fun. Another bonus game, the most fun. 
You Bet Your Behinds, and this is actually one of the bonus games that I like the most. Just kidding, I actually really don't like this one because I'm, for some reason, very bad at it. It's the these trampolines here in the corner that cause me all kinds of pain and distress. So, I'm actually doing okay for once. If I could just finish this off really quick, I'm gonna beat off this bonus level, grab that puzzle piece, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to buy any of the toys in this world because of the lack of access to Funky's shop. So, what I might do is a peace treaty with all of you. I want you burning down my doors here. Is okay. Is I might go back to world five and see if it will let me buy them. I don't know if there's like an upper limit to the amount you can buy per world. That could potentially be a thing. But here we go once again. Another instance where we need to pull the plug on this operation. Whoa. We have this stupid fiery owl who is really burning me up right now. So pull this all the way up. Sneak back there. Get that G. G whiz. Sound incredibly constipated in the process. Okay, so we're pretty close to being done here. We just need one more piece of the puzzle. Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting that. Oh, everything. This is chaos. What am I. What, am, what is going on here? Whoa! Not sure I necessarily care. For this. Yeah, this is just. Uh, yeah, pure chaos. Whew! Okay, we made it. We're very close to wrapping this up, so I would like to not have to deal with this. I feel like there's probably puzzle piece up there in that plant, if I had to guess. Now the problem is, how do I get up there? Okay, so I think I have an idea. Okay. That did not work. Can't... Probably should not have killed Dixie. Do I have any Dixies with me? I don't, but I have a Cranky. Let's see if this will work. A visit from our old boy Cranky. I haven't seen him in a while. Okay. Um, I would assume that... Oh, I think I actually needed to, to bring that rabbit with me. Oops. Mr. Bunny. Mr. Bun Bun, we gotta go back. Unkill him. Was that enough to resurrect his corpse? It was not. Okay. So we will travel back a little bit further. Might actually be worth it just to do a tactical reset. Oh, nope, he's back. All right. Get a little bit of that sweet harmonica. Oops. Okay. Yeah, let's do a tactical reset here. We're at a checkpoint anyway, so it just kind of makes sense. Oops. Okay. So we are doing wonderfully right now. We have confirmed that the rabbit here is our source of transportation for that final puzzle piece. You betcha. Oh, I think I actually do need those one of those watermelon bombs. I don't think I can break this on my own. Nope, I can. My life is a lie. Okay. Yeah, we will bump down the flounders. I think that we have... Oops. We're almost done here. It's a little bit of a shorter episode, but I'm sure you can all forgive me for the last episode being insanely long and ridiculous. Okay, let's blast away. Oops. I think that was everything right. KONG, five puzzle pieces. It was on our first try. Yeah, yeah boy. I did that for you guys. My fears were frozen, so I was able to take care of it. I think every level in here is like a blast barrel away from each other, which is kind of weird. And no funky shop, so let's go ahead and pop back over to the juicy jungle! Just for a second. I feel like I probably did max out on the toy buy-ins. I think that the game 
doesn't want you to have too much fun. You can't enjoy yourself that much, viewers. Getting addicted to toys. Okay. Can we? Oh, we can buy more, so we will. Let's go ahead and buy a requisite 10. Ooh, we got a Papa Penguin toy. Let's see how we're doing. Only one success so far. Two successes. I feel like I've already gotten some of these, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, two out of ten. Not so bad. Yes. Okay, sure. Whatever you say, Funky. Alright, and then next time, we will go back to World 6 and take on Level 3. I've been D-Mike. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!